everyone, Michelle Klein here, the real estate agent helping you find home, no matter what that looks like. Thank you for joining me again for this week's vlog. I am going to be talking about what seems to be on everybody's mind these days. Is it a good time to buy or sell right now in Warrington, Pennsylvania and the surrounding Bucks and Montgomery counties? I'm going to start off by saying that none of this is intended to be financial, mortgage, or legal advice of any kind. Uh, please always consult with the proper professionals before making any kind of commitment or decision. So getting right into it, we all know that interest rates are high right now, and it's no surprise that people who have a 3% or roundabout their interest rate on their homes right now are not interested in moving unless they have to. So right now, it seems as though rates are kind of as high as they're going to go. This week, I think they're in the high six or low sevens. Most mortgage professionals don't think they're going to get much higher. Some mortgage professionals do believe that they're going to be going lower in the near future uh, definitely by the end of this year, beginning of next year, as we go into the presidential election year. So what that means is that it gives you some kind of stability. You know, every day they're moving up and down a little bit, but they're not going to get much higher than this, according to most recommendations. And according to most those recommendations also, they are going to go a bit lower in the near future. So if you want to buy right now, you not only have some stability on where the rates are, but you have some comfort that they are going to be going down and a good mortgage consultant will know when is the best time for you to refinance, when it makes the most sense with points and everything that's involved. Another thing to note is that right now, most mortgage consultants can keep you at in the 6% range using discount points. So historically, 6 to 7% isn't that high. Interest rates historically have gone as high as 12%. They are not as low as we'd like to see them, but it's not something that should keep you from purchasing a house if that's what's the right move for your family at this time. The other side of that is the fact that those homeowners with low interest rates aren't selling unless they have to. So who's moving? The people who are moving are people who need to move, people who um, can no longer stay in their home due to age. They are moving on to 55 plus communities or assisted living communities or estates where the homeowner has passed on. We have people who are bursting at the seams, growing families, they are needing to move. Um, and life stages changes, uh, divorces and uh, work career changes career location changes. So it's people who need to move. Those who are feeling the itch to move or, or make a lateral move or a bit of a, an upgrade, they're not hopping to it at this point in time. So what that results in is a difficult situation for buyers because inventory is very, very low. Builders who stopped building it so much after the crash in 2008, never really caught back up. So now they seem to be catching back up to, or trying to start building again, but it's a game of catch up. And the inventory crisis is a real thing. There's just not enough homes in the good areas and it creates bidding wars and competitions and uh, difficult for buyers to to get the home that they're looking for. 
So there's a few tips that I can give you as a buyer that might attract sellers to take your, your offer over somebody else's. You know, the, the usual things that people are doing, make sure your agent is asking the selling agent what the buyer, what the sellers need. If they need to stay in their home until a certain time, you can make your offer more attractive by saying that you don't, you, you won't, they, there'll be a lease back and they can stay in the home. Um, those are the usual things that your agent should be doing, but some other small tips are to offer a higher deposit. Again, you don't want to offer more than you have to, but a higher deposit will communicate to a seller that you're serious and you're not going to easily back out once you get the home. Because what a lot of people are doing is they're, they're making these aggressive offers be, to get the house that they want because they've lost other homes. And then once they are the winning offer, they feel some regret and they're backing out and sellers are seeing this and then their home has to go back on the market and they have to start the whole thing over again, which is unpleasant. So if you can communicate to your seller that you're serious uh, and you're not going to easily back out uh, over those emotions and those feelings, then uh, you make your offer more attractive. There are mortgage agents, not many, I work with several that can give you an edge. They can give you a commitment commitment letter before you choose your house. So the underwriting would be done on you as the buyer and then it just waits on the appraisal. That allows you to remove your mortgage contingency and compete with cash buyers. There is some small risks if you were to lose your job or if the appraisal did not cover, you'd have to you'd have to fill that gap. But if you're willing to take those small risks and you're speaking with a very savvy mortgage agent, that could give you an edge uh, on your offer over cash buyers. If, if possible, receiving gifts, cash gifts is an option and will also give you an edge over cash buyers because that could afford you the ability to waive the mortgage contingency. It doesn't mean you can't get a mortgage, but it shows that you don't need a mortgage. And the gift limits are much higher than many people realize. Uh, again, those are all things that you would want to run by your accountant and your mortgage professional. I am happy to uh, recommend mortgage professionals as well because I'm confident with how they with how they run their business. So the answer to the housing crisis right now, hopefully those tips will help you, but the answer to the actual housing crisis right now is, is sort of sitting on sellers and new construction. Sellers uh, need to start selling their homes and that will happen as the market regulates. And, but new construction is really going to help. And the right buyer's agent can see deals where maybe other agents can't. For example, maybe there is an older home that sits in the perfect location on the perfect lot. And it even has a nice sized basement and making it into a uh, teardown, even though it's not marketed as a teardown, might be the right move for the right buyer. That's something that only a savvy agent would see and they would know the right construction loan people to speak to because there are construction loans that only have underwriting one time that you own, you, you lock in your rate and you only pay your fees at one time. Then you, you do the construction and you have, uh, you finish your, your loan on the rate that's already been locked in from new construction um, to possible new subdivisions to bare land or teardowns. There's a lot of new construction options out there and you just need the right people in your corner to help you find them. Uh, lastly, if you are one of those homeowners who would like to move from where you are, but you are so happy with your mortgage rate and don't want to move from it, 
I, I can speak to you because the median sales price for Bucks County was up from May 2023 of last year, uh, from May of last year to May 2023 of this year. Home prices are still sitting pretty strongly and it remains a seller's market. So listing your home can benefit you financially, even if you're changing from your interest rate, if there's a compelling reason to move. Uh, I'd say that it, 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 there's not a need to, to put it off if you are unhappy with where you are because you are still in a seller's market and you are still getting top dollar for your home. And, you know, as, as you do something that benefits your life, you would be helping the inventory crisis and could be providing a uh, stable home for a growing family that no longer fits your own needs. So there's the warm and fuzzy part of it as well. And if you're a buyer in this frustrating and complicated market, I feel for you and you need the right agent to help you find your roots in the community that you wanna be in. And communities such as Warrington and all these other communities in the, in, the, in the Bucks and Montgomery County with great school districts and parks that are safe and beautiful and clean, uh, to walk your pets in and shopping that's conveniently located, uh, access to the cities that, that are just a short commute or to the uh, the bigger par state parks over in Evansburg that are uh, not a bad commute as well. There's no secret, this is a wonderful place to call home. Uh, so you need the right agent on your side. You need the right professionals that have the experience um, and can guide you and uh, you will find your roots and someone like me is happy to help you find home no matter what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like and subscribe if you did. Feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you can find the written, the, the blog of this episode on my website www.michellecline.realtor no.com it's a little bit funny that way and uh my instagram is all listed below and i hope you found this useful and i hope to hear from you